and welcome to Our Lady of Grace. All of our music for this Mass can be found in the Brown Catholic Community Hymnal. Just a couple of brief announcements. Our second collection next weekend will be for the Trinity Dome. The bulletin has more information on this collection. The Rosary Altar Society will be sponsoring their annual Mother's Day basket raffle next weekend, so if you forgot about Mother's Day, you have one more chance to get a gift. That would be next weekend after all Masses. And there will be no high school youth ministry tomorrow. That's Sunday. Please be sure to take a bulletin home as there are many other announcements and details. And we ask that you please silence or turn off all cell phones and pagers in preparation for this Mass. Our celebrant for this liturgy is Father Dan. Please join us in our opening hymn, number 292, The Canticle of the Sun, number 292. Please stand. the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, we, re we sustain the joy that we have in the resurrection of Jesus on this, the fourth Sunday of Easter. But in a special way, this church is filled with joy and uh, goodness to give glory to God for eight children uh, the, of our parish who will receive their first Holy Communion the sacrament of the bread uh, and of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation, the body and blood of our risen Savior. So let us enter into this celebration with a special joy for the gift of faith, the gift of love, and the gift of God's mercy as we acknowledge our sins.
Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are our Good Shepherd leading us to eternal life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks. For your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King. O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, the sins of the world have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy one. You alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice and proclaimed, Let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you've crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, what are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized and about 3,000 persons were added that day. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, if you are patient when you suffer for doing what is good, this is a grace before God. For to this you have been called because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example that you should follow in his footsteps. He committed no sin and no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he suffered, he did not threaten. Instead, he handed himself over to the one who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body upon the cross so that free from sin, we might live for righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed for you had gone astray like sheep, but you have now returned to the shepherd and guardian of your souls. The word of the Lord. with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel 
according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice as the shepherd calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, the Pharisees did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I come so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Certainly a word of greeting and welcome to the family who perhaps uh, that are gathered with these first communicants who are not members of our parish that as we come together as a people of God to celebrate our faith around the altar of the Lord, we truly give thanks to God for the gift of these children who through the efforts of their parents, uh, their godparents, their extended family, uh, through members of our own parish family who have been uh, teaching and sharing with them the story and the ways of our faith to prepare them for this evening when they will encounter our Jesus uh, in the sacrament of Holy Communion for the first time. Uh, it is so appropriate that we celebrate First Holy Communion uh, tonight uh, as well as tomorrow morning uh, and also next weekend when we gather as a church uh, uh, on uh, Saturday evening and Sunday morning, uh, several opportunities because of uh, schedules and the life of children uh, that uh, these eight children only represent a partial uh, group of, of our parish family who will receive the Sacrament of Communion this year. But tonight, uh, as we hear the gospel of Jesus as the good shepherd, the gatekeeper, the message of the gospel uh, so clearly aligns what is happening, not simply for these boys and girls, but a profound way invites us into reflection upon our life of faith. Because we admit that without the shepherd, we become lost in life. We, lost, we lose our way and stray from the path that leads to the kingdom of God. And it is only when we take time to listen in prayer, listen in wisdom to those who have more experience, like our parents, teachers, coaches, others who have been entrusted uh, with uh, nurturing growth and development of young children, as well as even as we grow older, we still need mentors to guide us. And through their efforts, we hear the wisdom of the Eternal Father that comes to us through the teachings of Jesus and of his church. Uh, that we hear Jesus as the one who is at the gate. But for there to be a gate, 
there also needs to be a fence, a fence that allows us to gather. In some ways, uh, in your home is a little place where you gather, whether there is a physical fence or not, there is a location where you raise and nurture the life of your family. And in this church, we have walls and doors that serve to be a fence, to gather us and to give us a space to worship God. But there always is a place of entrance, whether it's the threshold of your door or garage when you go home or in your yard, or it's at the doors of this church, that when we choose to come and celebrate our faith, Jesus is at the gate, at the threshold, the threshold of your family, the threshold of this church, and in many respects at the threshold of our world and universe. But what is such an important part of our life of faith is that it is freely expressed, that just as the love of a family is something that each day must be renewed to stay committed to be together. So too as the life of a parish family, we come through the gate, the threshold of church, whether it's our domestic church at home as we pray together, or the church gathered here this evening inside these doors, that we have freely entered into the gate, into God's flock. And as the gospel shares with us this night, the sheep recognize the voice of the shepherd and that we do not recognize the voice of a stranger. Those of us who are older than these first communicants know that in this world there are voices that will lead us astray. And sometimes we are not wise enough, so we choose to listen to the stranger, and we begin to lose our way. But thanks be to God and the grace of God, many times we realize our faults. The voice of the Good Shepherd calling us back, calling us away from those vices and sins back into the fold. We come because we need time and space to attune our hearts and souls to the voice of the Good Shepherd. There's a wonderful way to understand what these boys and girls are doing tonight, supported by their parents and family, supported by this parish family, to continue to teach them to listen for the voice of the Good Shepherd and to ignore the voice of the stranger, not simply the stranger in the neighborhood, but the tempter, the one who is always on the prowl trying to distract us from the path of eternal life. So my brothers and sisters, we rejoice that we have heard the Good Shepherd. We have responded to gather and to come through the gate, the doors of this church, to take this time, this special time, to talk with Jesus, to have the conversation of hearing the good news of our Shepherd. And we are blessed to be fed and nourished spiritually by the sacrament, the body and blood of the Lord. It goes without saying that when we feast on the wisdom of God's teachings and scripture, as we feast at this table, that we continue in prayer to be connected with that voice and that the doors of this church are open during the week to come and pray that after we have celebrated this feast, that we know that we are tempted to leave early, tempted to move on to other things. 
But let us in a special way this night as we hear the Good Shepherd and realize that he is at the gate, that our Good Shepherd intends that after we have such a close spiritual encounter, such as receiving the body and blood of the Lord, we need time to recollect, time to ponder and pray as we receive this precious gift. Let us respect and give reverence to our risen Savior, the presence of the Lord, the Good Shepherd who speaks to us in so many ways when we enter into the fold, enter through the sheep gate to stay attuned, not only during our celebration of Mass, but throughout this week, if we only listen to the voice of the Good Shepherd, our hearts, our souls, our lives will be filled with the joy in the expectation of what lies ahead, the eternal kingdom of God. Together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was born to Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As a people of faith, we trust and believe in the risen Christ, our Good Shepherd. Let us join in offering these our prayers for our needs and those of the world and present them to the Heavenly Father. Our response will be, Risen Savior, hear our prayer. For the church, that as the body of Christ on earth, we may faithfully and boldly proclaim the truth of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen, Risen Savior, Savior, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For government leaders, may they seek wisdom and guidance from the Holy Spirit as they work to solve the problems of our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Savior, hear our prayer. For the sick and the dying, that the knowledge of the resurrection may give them strength and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Savior, hear our prayer. For all who have been washed clean in the waters of baptism, may their lives be changed by the power of the risen Christ, and may they be open to the fullness of his life. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Savior, hear our prayer. For police officers, first responders, and all who put themselves in harm's way, 
May God keep them safe as they carry out their duties. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Savior, hear our prayer. For all our faithfully departed, including Shirley Lane. May they rest in the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen, Risen Savior, Savior, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty and eternal God, your Son, Jesus Christ, has won victory over sin and death and made us your beloved sons and daughters. As we celebrate his victory, we ask you to hear our prayers and draw us ever closer to you. We ask this through Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. As we present our gifts and prepare the table, please join in singing hymn number 344, Shepherd Me, O God, number 344.
pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all of his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may by the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, for death, O oh Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary 
mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us share a sign of the Lord's peace. My brothers and sisters, behold the gatekeeper, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
joy. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body given up for you. Take and drink, take and drink. This is my blood given up for you. I am the way that leads the exile home. I am the truth that sets the captive free. I am the life that raises up the dead. I am your peace, true peace, my gift to you. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body given up for you. Take and drink, take that guards you night and day. You are my flock, you know the shepherd's voice. You are my own, your ransom is my blood. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body given up for you. Take and drink, take and drink. This is my blood given up for you. I am the cornerstone that God has laid, a chosen stone and precious in his eyes. You are God's dwelling place on me. temple for God's praise. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body given up for you. Take and drink, take and drink. This is my blood given up for you. darkness cannot hide. I am the morning star that never sets. Lift up your face, in you my light will shine. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body given up for you. Take and drink, take and drink. This is my blood given up for you. I am the first and last, the living one. I am the Lord who died that you might live. I am the bridegroom, this my wedding song. marriage feast. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body given up for you. Take and drink, take and drink. This is my blood given up for you. I am the spoken light was made. I am the seed that died to be reborn. I am the bread that
that comes from heaven above. I am the vine that fills your cup with joy. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body given up for you. Take and drink, take and drink. This is my blood given up for you. I am the way that leads the exile home. that sets the captive free. I am the life that raises up the dead. I am your peace, true peace, my gift to you. Take and eat, take and eat. This is my body given up for you. Take and drink, take and drink. This is my blood given up for you. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Please join us in our closing hymn number 292, The Canticle of the Sun, beginning with verse number 4. Praise for the fire who gives us.